Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a long time. I haven't been posting on YouTube, I think for about eight months now. So yeah, I've been a little busy, but now I have some downtime and I just got back to Cambodia with a couple ideas. So I figured I'm gonna start picking it back up. Um, gonna start producing more videos. First things first, if you enjoy my content, please subscribe and like, leave comments, questions, anything you want. I'll try my best to answer them. All right, so like most of my videos, it's improvised. So I'm just gonna go off the top of my head. So today I'm gonna to discuss about the Cambodian currency, which is also called real. Kind of like real, but you can roll the R. It's spelled R-I-E-L. Real. <laughs> it's probably hard for some people. So as of right now, one US dollar is equivalent to 4,130 real. Okay. Because the US dollar is widely accepted here in Cambodia. So you can pretty much spend your US dollar at any store here. The only thing that I would caution you is that they're very, very picky with the US dollar. So if there's any wrinkles, any rips, any little markings on there, pretty much no shop here is gonna accept it. So we're changing US dollars to my deal. $50, you get 205,000 deal. Brand new stacks. Like Monopoly money. <laughs> Monopoly money. The reason why I titled my video Real in there, you can exchange 250 US dollars to 1 million reals. Anyone could be a real in there. Just bring 250 US dollars and exchange that sucker. I'm going to show you guys some of the reals because um, I think they're really interesting. I really like the artwork on it. Okay, so this is the 100, the 100 real bill. It has a Buddha, it has a Naga statue on there, the world palace. Another Buddha statue. So 500 real. Thousand real. Yeah, the numbers are really big, but this is like equivalent to a dollar and twenty-five cents. Ten thousand though. The 20,000 note. Um, so I don't have the 50,000 and the 100,000 note, but that's just to show you guys uh, examples of how the deals look like. You can Google if you want to get into details of each symbol and artwork. I know some of it is um image of the king. Okay, now let's. Man, this my Buddha pen keep turning around. Hold on. I have it on backwards, that's why. Alright, let's talk about the banking here. If you want to open a bank account in Cambodia, as a foreigner, you can. Um, I've opened uh, several bank accounts here. So all you need is a passport and a Cambodian phone number. Those are the two things that they asked me. It took me like less than 10 minutes to open a bank account here. Um, two of the most popular banks that I would recommend is called ABA and the other one is Ace Lada. You can open the banks, both of them, same procedures, just need a passport and um, they pretty much verify your visa on there, see how long you're staying and whatnot. Almost all banking here is done through their app. So in order for them to set up the account, I'm not sure it's really a requirement or not, but when I went to do it, the teller automatically asked me for my Cambodian phone number and then she had me set up the app right there on the spot. So I'm guessing that it's a requirement. But anyways, yeah, like I said, it took under 10 minutes to set up a new bank account here. I had to pay $5 in order for them to uh, issue me a debit card. But most of the banking here is done through the app or online. All right, hold on, let me show you my bank card. All right, I'm gonna cover the number real quick. So they issued me a debit card I recommend everyone open a bank here if you're planning to live here. Visiting, I wouldn't really recommend it. If you're just visiting, you just exchange your money anywhere. As far as like pulling out money, if you worry about carrying a lot of cash, I wouldn't recommend carrying too much cash around. Um, there's, I've never been robbed or encountered any theft, but I've heard stories. Just go to the ATM and you can always pull out cash. They do charge a $5 fee. so. I don't know, just pull like three, five hundred dollars at a time just to make it worth it. But I wouldn't recommend carrying too much cash around, anything more than that. 
So that's a quick rundown of the Cambodian currency. Um, if you have any questions or any details I've missed, feel free to comment or ask below. I'll get back to you. Yeah, look out for more videos. If you want me to specifically touch on a certain um, subject, let me know in the comments. I'm always looking forward to answering questions. So I'll see you guys next time.